other than Ryan Zinke, Interior Secretary of the United States of America. How are you, Mr. Secretary? Great to be here. And the SHOT Show is like the Super Bowl of, of guns, ammunition, and industry. Right. And 13 miles, 2,200 vendors, uh, yeah. and all, all great conservationists, really good people, dedicated uh, to the outdoors. It's a great, great industry. Well, it's great to have you here, and uh, I appreciate you spending some time on this. I know that you're going to be busy talking with some of those great conservationists because, as you say, you know, look, uh, hunters are not only uh, a, a huge part of the conservation movement, hunting is conservation. Well, I can tell you, when you buy a box of ammunition, a fish hook, it goes into what's called the Robertson Pittman, and I issued a check for $2.2 billion dollars. Uh, last year that went out to the states for conservation projects to, to promote healthy herds. You know, that's a, a key number to help, you know, our nation and our conservation effort and keep our lands healthy. And it's on, you know, the, the backs of, of hunters and fishermen uh, that care. Absolutely. And they do care. And I know one of the things that they care about is access to, uh, to land to hunt. You know, if you can't get out uh, you don't have a place to hunt. Well, that, that kind of negates the, uh, you know, the whole conservation side of this. So uh, yesterday we were actually talking with an individual who's living out of a school bus. And he's driving around the country and specifically hunting on public land because he's trying to raise awareness about, you know, access issues and, and why public hunting land is so important. Is this a big issue for you as well? Yeah, I, I would say it's in the top uh, of the issues. You know, I grew up in Montana, and I've watched over the period of time roads being shut down, or, you know, over and over. And what that does is not everyone has seven days to go into backcountry and hunting. Not everyone can afford helicopters to lift. A lot of America, you know, works during the week and wants to go out and hunt on the weekend. And if you don't have access, then what it does, it shuts off the legacy of, you know, grandpa going hunting with the kids or you have military veterans that, that may be disabled. Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing is we're, we've tasked, uh, you know, our, our folks to look at all our, our range plans, our, our management plans, and make sure that recreation uh, is a part of it, but also public access. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a steward of our, of our public lands. Uh, interior has about a fifth of the territory of the United States falls under interior. Um, and what we want to do is make sure those public lands are protected in perpetuity. But a lot of it is making sure we rebuild our park system mm -hmm. and public access to make sure that America should use their public lands. Our public lands belong to the people, not the government. Same thing in the government shutdown. The reason why we kept the parks open, the reason why, because it, it, our parks and public land belong to the people and not the government. And that's an important part. 